Ah, the full moon. So peaceful. So tranquil. So not gonna crash down and kill us all. Hey guys, this is so glad. We're playing off random of time right now. Um, we just cleared out the Dunga's Cavern and got the Goron Ruby. Ruby. Let's use the currency. Um, so right now we're gonna head up to Death Mountain at the suggestion of Dunga and meet with the Great Fairy. And I don't know what just happened there. I swear my phone just switched. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. Money, 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 money. We have a lot of money in... And we'll go on that. So, if you haven't guessed by now, Death Mountain is kind of an active volcano. If you try to use your TP shield here, it will burn up. It's not much protection. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, I don't know what to say here. Um, Ugh. Alright, there should be one more. I'm confused. I... I don't know what just happened there, but I'll go on... Well, I'll say okay, whatever. Okay, so... We're just gonna climb up. Just keep climbing, just keep climbing, just keep climbing. Left, 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 And we're gonna hit that skull tower. What the? Hey. There we go. Oh. So, welcome to the top of the Death Mountain. Great view. Don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me, I don't want to hear from you. Okay, we didn't have to hear from him. If you have not seen the Great Fairy, pre fairy, prepare yourself. This is one of the more disturbing things in Zelda. Just saying. I mean, look at this. He's, yeah. Yep. And trust me, it's worse on the 3DS version. Although. Her boobs can't exactly play her. Can't exactly, um. What's the word I'm looking for? Point your eyes out? Point your eyes out? <laughs> they were just having fun with angles right there, weren't they? Yeah, still are. You right. This isn't any right game, everyone. Of course, I'm. I haven't picked here, I got. A T rating, I think. So who cares? I don't want to know what goes on anymore. <laughs> and we got magic power, so we can use a spin attack. We can, well, great, more powerful spin attack. Um, we can use items like blankety bling. Well, I don't care about spoilers. Those are true. To inspire and who knows what else we'll find that use it. Well, I know I just don't care to list it all. I'm lazy as all hell, guys. So we can get our magic meter double later in the game, but that's not going to come up quite yet. So before we talk to this owl and head down, we're going to want to head into here. This is the crater of the volcano. So as you might guess, it's very, very hot, and you can't exactly stay here all too long right now. How much time you get is depending on how many hearts you have. It's 
You just want to get that gold skull saw and leave. It's not exactly wise to stay, because if you run out of time, you die. Alright, Mr. Hootie Hoo, let's... Okay, Mr. Hootie Hoo, let's do this. I'm flying! Oh gosh. I'm getting air sick. Oh gosh. Oh gosh! It's everywhere! I all over the mountain! It would suck if he dropped this. I can't imagine that exactly doing well. And he drops us right on the roof of this house. If you're careful, he can just drop down right here and walk in here. And we have three heart piece. Not bad. For us, that's another heart container. Alright! So we're just going to go ahead and head to the location of the next area we actually need to be for story, well, what the next dungeon is. There's not as much bullcrap between dungeons 2 and 3 as there was between 1 and 2. So let's just kind of get going. We're going to be heading up the river and go meet with the Zora fish people. And meet another creepy character. So I actually have a question for those of you who played this game in Princess Rudo. She's the Zora that falls in love with Wake, and they're fish people, so if they did, would that be bestiality, or is it okay because she's technically humanish, and I don't understand. No. Part of me wants to know, but then the other part is like, that is not something you should be thinking about. He got some magic pot. Of course, all pot is magical if you know how to use it right. Am I right? Am I right? I actually don't know. I've never tried it. I live in Utah. Not legal here. Unless I went to Colorado, which is the next state over. Why well, can't I escape this text? Okay. I hate that guy. Although... I think that's the last time we have to deal with him in... Wait, nope, never mind. We have to deal with him one more time. And then we won't hear again from him until the... second to last dungeon. I think I just had a mentally retarded moment. Kill Skull till I get the... Think from it and roll into the tree, hoping for a to pull down. I think I just had a retarded moment, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this chicken. I'm so hungry, I could eat knock rock, and there's one now, guys. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm not hungry. Ugh. Sorry, now I just had the t TV going on me while I'm watching this play my computer. Um, I just noted something. Right now, Tom and Jerry's on and get back here, get back here, don't you dare roll down, don't you dare roll down. Tom and Jerry got weird. Like, they booted, back, booted it back up, I swear, something in like 2004. And I don't know why. It's one of those things that... Okay. They should not have done. There's way too many movies and whatever that just spams Cartoon Network. I'll wake up half the time in the morning and there's just either a Scooby-Doo little movie or Tom and Jerry. Granted, I would not have this problem if I didn't watch Cartoon Network. But who cares? Okay, Mr. Chicken, you're coming with me. We have another heart piece to grab. Uh, let's see, there's another easy two heart pieces before next dungeon. I'm trying to think if there's another one I can just go grab. I'm just not thinking of. 
Oh well. Um, well there is, it's just not until after I can get it. So you need the boomerang. And we'll get the boomerang in this next dungeon. Welcome to the waterfall. We're ignoring it for right now. What I want is over here. Oh, happy. All right. Back up here. I like how much they have to zoom out right there, and so, anyway, welcome to Zora's Domain. Ugh. There's actually a few interesting things here. I might be actually able to show you if you can do this right. Um, if you know anything about, like, the beta of Ocarina of Time, I'll know there were some things, like, the unicorn's fountain that were somewhat cut out. These were areas that they were going to use but never were able to fully implement when they moved Ocarina of Time from N64 DD to normal N64 and they didn't fully remove some of it. It's like at the bottom of Zora's domain there's a little cave thing you can't access but you're going to need Act and under the ice in this place keeps frozen over. I do have action relief play for GameCube that we could use. I got it originally just to get like the, the NES games and Animal Crossing like Legend of Zelda that you can't normally get, but it also has its purposes of Exploiting and testing out areas. We've actually seen some interesting things when testing out some areas of the game, and we have managed to get under the ice before. It's very hard and a pain in the neck, but oh well. It's worth it. We'll do it. So we're not going to need bombs next, we're going to need you. Okay. okay. What a graceful dive! Now please take this! This is the scale of our crime of this, you can dive much deeper under the water. This is the first of two scales. The silver scale, this allows you to dive for 6 seconds, the golden scale lets you dive for 9. The golden scale is the most painful item in the game to get. I'm not joking. We'll talk about that kind of later when it's actually relevant. Yes, you get from fishing. I do not like fishing in this game, it's very painful. Fish are very temperamental. Like, if you can get them hooked, it's fine. It's more of getting them on the stupid line. Because half of them insist on not looking at the bait and- oh my gosh, it's horrible. If you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's give this note to our it's recipient. We'll get another heart piece. Alright. Are you guys ready for this? This is gonna be the longest se sequence ever, and you'll see why I'm set. Oh, the father. That's on Princess Hotel. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god Lord Jabu Jabu would never eat my dear Princess Hotel. But it's that stranger Ganador came here. Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green on the gills. That evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll find it though. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep the server. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Find my dear. Immediately. 
And how long does this last? Okay, we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. It takes about 31 seconds for him to move his fat ass. That's 31 seconds. You're never going to get back per run through. Oh gosh, I've, watched, I've spent over 40 minutes of my life watching that guy move his fat ass. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's 40 minutes of my life. I'm never going to get back. Eh, I wasn't going to do anything else with him. Alright. Drake hit his heart piece. Do not stop moving. Split second you stop moving, the torches will unlight. It's a pain in the ass, but it's something you gotta live with. Especially this little alcohol. No, 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 come on, light. Arg. Where do they stop moving your missile torch? Eh, <laughs> fine. Fine, we'll have a little bit of a longer episode, whatever. Doll. Da 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 We should have Link be an Olympic torch runner after this. Except... I'm... There we go. Let's grab our heart piece. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna capture a fish real quick. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you're actually supposed to go fishing. Oh my gosh, I just realized Link can catch that fish right there in 15 seconds just by scooping it up, but it takes me half an hour to catch a fish at the fishing. What's up? What fish? Oh my gosh. We've been just doing it wrong this whole time. It makes sense now. Oh, we don't need the shield anymore. This shield's actually much easier to use. Sora's Fountain, good for it. We don't need an introduction. So have you guys heard about the story of Jonas and the Whale? If you're not familiar, allow me to tell you the story. Um, in the Bible, Jonas was... I think he was a prophet. A god that was told to go and preach to people. And he was afraid that he would lose his life, so he decided to go the opposite way, went on a boat to try to escape, and he got swallowed by a whale and was stuck there until he repented of his ways. Why is this relevant? We're freaking Jonas. Alright. So next time on Ocarina of Time, we're stuck inside the belly of a whale. Let's see what we can find here. Alright, till next time.